Hello, 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 everybody. Uh, how are you all doing? My name is Rosie. So um, uh, I'm here on my channel, Diversity Kitchen. And uh, today we are going to cook some fish stew. And uh, I'm going to make it easy and simple to do it. And um, I just say thank you for watching. And if you never subscribe on my channel, just do so, subscribe. And for you to receive any video from me, I always cook some simple and easy recipe. And um, just like, comment, encourage me with any word. Okay, so thank you. So just, um, as I said, this today we are going to cook some easy and simple chicken. Uh, easy and simple fish stew so we are going to do this is my my, my girl my girl i always cook around my kids the kids always like to cook you know to be around me whenever i'm cooking so this is her this is her this is gloria okay so okay and this is the fish already this is the fish already washed you know it's all clean i wash it and I peel everything out of it. You see this? I already take that out. And uh, the things that you see here is the nagment. Nagment. This is the things that you see over here. And, uh, you know, just do it over here. And then I put it. So, for that, we are going to need some. For that, we are going to need some garlic. And we are going to need some ginger. Ginger is good for this time. One day I'm gonna do uh, the video how I do make the ginger juice. So ginger is good. Put ginger in your tea. Put ginger in your stuff is good. So ginger and garlic. We are going to put ginger, and we are going to put some little bit salt for taste. And we are going to put little bit of uh, fish, uh, fried fish, spicy. You know this one is really spicy. So we are going to put it inside. So I'm going to put everything and then I'm going to show you. This is it. I forgot to mention you have to, you know, make like cut a little bit so that the spice can go inside the meat. So I forgot um, if you have, if you want like uh, black pepper, you can use black pepper. I don't really like black pepper i don't know why so if you want black pepper you can do black pepper and you if you have lemon you can really squeeze a little bit juice of lemon and it really is good so back home we use on um, this so to put the fish so this is what i'm going to do so right here i'm gonna put the fish like this So I'm gonna put the fish. So we put like that so that the water, uh, the fish can be. Uh, I can drain a little bit of water from the fish. No spicy left okay. behind. So we are going to scoop everything for the fish. Okay. So this is how we did. We do it back home. So we do this so that the fish can dry, and then whenever it's dry. Uh, is is good to be is good whenever you fry it so i'm gonna leave it like for 30 minutes so that the spicy can really go inside the meat so i'm gonna leave it for 30 minutes and then we are going to go in the uh the the frying process okay uh once again i say thank you for watching if you never subscribe if you, you never subscribe subscribe to my channel just comment share I'm give me a thumbs up it's simple and easy give me a thumbs up okay thank you so much this is it it's time to fry now so the uh, i just put this is just vegetable oil in the pan and my is already hot so i'm gonna put the, the, the fish just be careful I'm gonna put the fish. So we are going to fry the fish, and uh, I'm gonna 
come back. So when I'm frying the fish, so this is the the ingredients that we need to make the stew. So this is tomato over here, and this is celery, black uh, celery, celery, and uh, yellow, orange pepper, and the green pepper. And we are going to need this one. We are going to need the, the cube. And this is my tomato paste. I always store. I don't like to leave the tomato paste in the in the uh, in the can. So this is my tomato paste. Oops. And uh, this is the tomato sauce. And this is the onion. We need the onion powder. If you want, uh, you have a fresh onion, just put it. And we are going to use this instant of salt. I'm gonna use this because this one has a lot of salt. So instead of salt, I'm gonna use this one. And we are going to put this. This is a meat masala, but I'm gonna use it for fish to, uh, for the stew to be really thick. So this is the ingredient. So we are going to fry the fish, and uh, we are good to go. Show you uh, something very quick. So how do you know when to turn your fish around or on the other side? Okay. So sometimes you can turn your fish, and your fish just like. It went just like bad. He, you know, just coming apart. So this is when you know that this is the time for you to turn your fish. You see the edges become brown. You see all these edges is brown. That's the sign to see, to know that you have to turn your fish, you know, on the other side. You see? You see? And also, you have to fry it in a good pan. In a nonstick pan is really good. So this is it with the frying and keep watching. Uh, I just finished to fry the, ch the, the fish. This is the fish I just uh, finished to fry. So I just changed the pan because this one get like a little bit spicy on the bottom just get burned. So I just change it. So I'm gonna do the sauce. Oh, the stew as we call it sauce <laughs> yeah we are going to do the stew now so I'm going to put the tomato and the pepper and everything and I'm gonna and we are going to wait like for for everything to get ready and then I'm gonna Show you the next step. This is uh, now I'm gonna add some tomato paste or tomato sauce, and I'm gonna add some little bit tomato paste. And uh, this is the onion powder, onion powder, and uh, the other one, uh, the vegetable. Pull up, pull up, pull up. The one it was on the. Yeah. So, the, and then we are going to the put. The co-host is here. The, the meat masala. So that me. That and I'm going to say a co-host. Okay. Come this way. Okay. And this is my co-host. He just came from school. Jojoy! And Jojoy. DJ, DJ Jojoy. Okay, so. Give Mama Food a thumbs up and click and click the subscribe button down there. Yeah. When you watch this episode, give it 100 million. Yeah. And then we are going to put like a little bit of water. Yeah, it's coffee. It's not coffee, it's water. Yeah, it's well like So now we are going to let it boil and for now I'm going to put this uh, yeah. the boil. Yeah, so so we don't have to put ties in it so it's now work ugly. Yes. When you like this video, give it a thumbs up mm -hmm. and press the and mama saw it to me again. Okay, good. Okay, Jojo, you wanna say something to you? Say it. Well, you like my video, so it's a, so press the subscribe button down there. Okay. And get to the blast up. And press 
and press a like. I like you like at most. <laughs> okay, thank you. You just say um, subscribe to Mama channel and press the uh, the subscribe button. You know, my kids they always be like that. Okay, so for now we are going to cover it to let it boil, and we are going to put the fish. That's for five minutes. It's been five minutes, so we are going to. Oh, look at this! And this smells so good. So now we are going to put the the maggi cube. I like to keep to put this one at the end because this uh, to keep like the taste and the and the um, the smell. And for now, I'm gonna put the fish. Look at how it is. I'm gonna put the fish. You see, it's easy and simple. You can eat this with rice. It's easy, it's simple. I'm just going to let it boil up just a little bit, five minutes, and then we are good to go. This is it. I'm gonna cover it, and then we are going to come back for five minutes. If you five minutes, this is it. Easy and simple. You're ready to eat it with rice, with fufu, with plantain. This is it. You're good to eat it. Thank you for watching. Just keep subscribe, comment, and share. And ask me for a recipe if you want me to cook something just tell me and thank you for watching